everyone, Misco Electric here. Now today is a cold day here in Michigan, but as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. And this is the perfect opportunity to test out a new product that I have here called the Home More 100 Watt Solar Panel. So today, let's talk about the specifications and details about the solar panel, and then I'm gonna test it out. If you have a car, then it has a 12 volt battery and whether you have an EV or an internal combustion engine vehicle, it has a shelf life and there's no doubt that eventually it's either going to discharge completely or you're going to need to jump it. I don't want to get stranded if my 12 volt battery dies, so I keep a power bank inside my car that allows me to quickly jumpstart my 12 volt battery and also charge my phone. But if you don't have emergencies often, that power bank can go dead too, and you might get in a situation where you can't charge up at all. But the sun comes out every single day, and that's why I carry one of these solar panels in my car as a backup, because you don't need a power bank in order to use this. This here is a 100 watt solar panel array by Home More. Now, let's talk about the exterior first. This material on the outside is a polyester type material and it's really thick, nice quality so far. It looks like it would be easy to wipe down if I'm taking it out even on a camping trip. Before I unfold it, I wanna talk about the back pouch here, which has some ports and ways to be able to plug in. As you see, this can open up and it has the junction box here. It has a DC, a USB-C, and two USB-A ports. This solar panel array comes with about 10 different DC barrel connectors so that you can plug in pretty much any power bank and be able to charge it up. It also comes with a DC barrel to Anderson connection and another DC barrel to DC barrel connector. Now, I think the most common way people are gonna use this solar panel is to plug into the USB ports here. So let me talk a little bit more in detail about those. First, we have a USB-C port, which can deliver up to 30 watts. Then there are two USB-A ports. The first slot is gonna deliver up to 24 watts and the second one will deliver up to 18 watts. All right, I'm gonna fold this back up and we're gonna unfold it. There is a really nice high quality zipper that goes all the way around that's lined with like a weatherproofing material. So I think it's gonna be nice to keep sealed so it doesn't get wet inside there. Now I've noticed while I've unfolded it that on each corner here, there is a metal grommet and this is gonna be great. So if you wanna secure it with a rope and stakes or something like that, if it's windy, then you have the ability to do that. On the back here, there are four legs to be able to stand it upright. Should keep it nice and sturdy. They're easy to fold out. As you can see, these extend out so that it is at an optimal angle to be able to absorb as much of the sun's energy as possible. The panels here are single crystal, also known as monocrystalline, and they have an efficiency of between 20 and 23%. They say that they have an operating voltage of 18 volts and 5.5 amps. I wanna test this out and plug in my phone, so I have a fast USB-C charging cable here. Let's plug it in and see how it charges. All right, I'm plugged in, so it looks like on my battery gauge here, I see a little lightning bolt, which indicates that I am charging. I'm at 72% state of charge. It's 139. Let's come back in 10 minutes and see how much more charge I have. All right, it is 156 and I have reached 87% state of charge. So it looks like I'm pulling the full 30 watts. The reason why I like this 100 watt panel is because even in the winter time, like right now, the sun is a little bit lower on the horizon. And if it's a cloudy day, I'll still be able to draw that 30 watts of power to be able to charge up on a USB-C port. Now I'm probably gonna use this solar panel the most when I'm out camping. And instead of plugging it directly into my phone, I'll probably plug it into a small power bank like this. This way I can have my phone with me during the day and then be able to charge at night and I'll be able to have infinite power to keep charging for the whole trip. Now, no product is absolutely perfect, and I actually wanted to see if I could use this solar panel to be able to plug it into my larger power bank over here. 
The solar panel has USB DC barrel and Anderson connections to be able to input into a power station like this. But the problem is my power station can't accept any of those. You'll definitely want to pay attention to the hardware that you own when you buy these so that you can have a compatible connection. It's also important to note that these home war solar panels only operate as one device. You cannot connect them to another solar panel in series or parallel. Overall, I have to say that I really appreciate the quality of this solar panel and I'm going to definitely keep this in the back of my car for emergency situations and use it when I'm going out camping. Well, if you want to learn more about this panel in particular, see the link in the description below. Thank you Homewar for sending this to me and until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric!